Hey, uh, so I'm over here at your, uh, <laughs> your not house. Um, I got in. We got in. Yeah, man, I found the key. Why didn't you tell me you were going there? Oh, you know, I just did. I wanted to surprise you. Seth, Seth came over here with me, and uh, we found the key, man. We found the key. <laughs> Look at this beauty. Nice. Right, interesting thing. Uh, we closed on this yesterday, as we talked about in the podcast. And uh, nobody has a key. So they can't find the key. The homeowner said they left it. Uh, you know, maybe it's just left unlocked. Let's take a seat. Let's try the back. <laughs> Seth, this is what we do, man. We buy houses with no keys. That's how you get the real deal. That's how you do it. <laughs> Did you, oh, there's no rug to check under, I guess. No, I just looked. I was like, where would they leave it at? But now uh, they're out, man. This was, uh, they were so excited to sell that they just left. Mm. Just left. It's beauty. But honestly, I can't wait to see like the before and after this. Where they even locked the screen. Mm. Now, now it's got a rock. Now it looks intentional. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> Let's see if this other door is locked. And I don't break nothing on you. Uh, hey now. Well, that was bound to happen. There it is. And we're in. Breaching. <laughs> That's what shoes are for. There we go. Nice. We got access now. Hey now. Look at this. That's how we do it. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the plan with this? You know, I gotta decide. You know, my uh the whole running joke of uh, Mike Bennett is homeless. This would legitimately, and I know it's hard to tell in its current state. That's a cool bathroom. I know it's hard to tell. Unique. State, but I think <laughs> this would be an amazing home for him just because yeah. of where it's at. Living right off the country club. Yeah. And four or five turns from the clubhouse. Uh, so, look at that. Woo! Yeah. Pink. <laughs> Oh my, is that black? Yeah. Is that black mold? Yeah. Mm, so, nice. That'll be fun to get out. Stuff right there. So this would be a great spot for him, but I, I don't know if he's gonna take it, so I gotta figure out, I'm thinking about a flip. The problem with a flip is you only get paid one time. I'm not a huge fan of that. I may roll, because of where it's at, this would be, I think this might make a good short-term rental as well. Yeah? And, uh, you know, they do the women, they do the golf term here every year. I think this has potential for that. So we'll see. It needs a lot. It needs a lot. The guys getting all the power, water, utilities, all that stuff set up today. I think we'll start on next week. Hell yeah. I got to figure out what all we're tearing out. But we'll demo everything and we'll get going. Well, you yeah, already started, but the door. <laughs> yeah, that door, that door needs to go anyway. <laughs> that door definitely needs to go anyway. So, but definitely all new. You know, new central heat and air. May I got to think about these floors, sand them, and finish them, lighten them up. Maybe go with like uh, like some a little bit more of a honey color. Definitely lighter. All this is gonna have to be gutted. Kitchen complete gut. This room gutted. They got uh, on the outside of this brick. <laughs> we'll have to imp and superimpose a picture of it. They they literally cut through the the brick, which. Wow. It's interesting. Normally you would think they'd put it through a window, right? Yeah. But they literally cut the brick out of the side of the house and poked it through. So that's, this is all going, you know, this is a, this is actually this is pretty right? cool. So I don't know how to get into it. Yeah. Feels old timey. It's like right in the Look kitchen. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. That's kind of, that's kind of neat. Huh? I don't know that, uh, that that's going to stay, but somebody like that. Yeah. Someone will.
Yeah, this one definitely, all the ceilings have been on there to be scraped. Oh, you don't want to keep that? <laughs> uh, pretty fun. Yeah, lots of work, fun stuff. Awesome, cool. Nice. But, uh, I believe it's an acre and a half lot, so quite a bit of this back here. And this wooded side back here. What do we got? Uh, styling. Uh oh. It's a uh -oh. little memento for you. Yeah, we get, we, yeah, we'll frame it and put it on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> But all this is going to have to be cleaned up. I'm pretty sure the property line runs, you know, 30 or 40 feet, 50 feet that way. And then all the way back to the fence. And, you know, all around the back of this, uh, that house behind it's like $975,000. The house, house to the right's a little over a million, probably 1 1.2, 1 1.3. That's a left, jump. <laughs> another 950. Yeah. Um, you know, you're entering Sedgefield, literally one road over. I think that's uh, the ninth or 10th community in Sedgefield there. So... Probably the lowest price point house I've seen in this area, and um, I paid two sixty two five for it in its current condition as is, uh, no inspections, nothing, just literally, hey, cash close, let's let's get it done. But it's surrounded by homes. I would say the entry level price point in this area is probably more like that five to seven hundred thousand dollars. And there's three or four dozen homes being built in this area that are between one and two million, and there's a couple of four, five, six, and seven million dollar homes being built here too. So. This is definitely that old, the advice that I typically give, which is find the best neighborhood you can and find the cheapest home in it. And this is definitely, to my knowledge, the cheapest home in this neighborhood. Guest house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> old boy, bamboo. Yeah. So this is wasted space. So I, I don't know. I mean, other than, other than them just trying to create privacy, you know, it, I think this could be cool if you really like if I was this is not I, I'm not going to live here. But if I was going to this would kind of be cool. The kid in me wants to, like, cut a path through and go through and make a trail through the bamboo, like a little bamboo forest. Yeah, you could, you could cut this in and zig and zag and make like a really cool trail. And maybe at the end of the trail, have like a little camping site for you, your family, your kids, whatever. So, you know, your kids kind of like camping in the backyard, but kind of feeling like you're going somewhere yeah. so i could see like something like that obviously they weren't using it for anything but uh you know there, there's creative ways you could, you could put this to use so maybe maybe that's something we do i don't know if we do like a little short-term rental that could be a little extra selling point the panda sanctuary yeah, the panda so, sanctuary yeah. and honestly I've, i'll probably double the size of this unit and we're gonna have to run i mean i'm just gonna gut the whole thing as far as anything related to the vac system I'm just gonna start over with that paint the uh you know, I've seen, I'm, you know, obviously we can go, we can like whitewash and white, whitewash or white with black. Um, but I've also seen a lot that are, that are the reverse of that. They're, they're dark homes, like black or yeah. like slate gray, like a dark So you're going to paint the brick. Yeah, yeah, paint the brick. Uh, my cool. wife wouldn't like that. Oh, she likes the original. Yeah. Style. Yeah, she's a purist. Look at this. Yeah. How would your wife feel about the, uh, Ooh. and know. the glue, the glue, man. That's how you hold brick together. <laughs> I guess. Cut right into the brick. <laughs> said uh, it was a decision decisions were made man you know what's bad is with that decision is that took a lot of effort too yeah and now you're gonna take it out <laughs> <laughs> i'm glad they cleaned up you know and look at this right here you don't even have to this is like uh look at that you don't have to open the door nice i think now you remember what was it like this is it probably even though i bought it it took we were supposed to do a 10-day close but they kept delaying what was it like three or four weeks ago we did that mm -hmm. podcast? Yeah. And you remember the smell I was telling you about? Do you remember me saying it was hard to describe the yes. smell? Yes. It doesn't stink like it did. Really? Like, you smell, I mean, it, smells, it smells old. But yeah, but when, when it was here, it smelled like terrible. I've smelled houses like this before. Like yeah, uh, this, isn't, this isn't as bad. So they had, I think what was going on, I actually believe they did try and clean, which is kind of funny. But they had an indoor outdoor dog. Oh my. Right, and that's what they built to keep him in. And they let him have free run of the home. When I would come by and check on it after I bought it, when I was checking to see if they were leaving, you know, as they were moving out, just to make sure, you know, that they were intending to leave. Uh, I would see, like, there was a day where it was just pouring down rain, there was a mud hole in the yard, the dog was outside, the door was open, the dog was coming in and out as he pleased. And I thought, oh, that's just one time, right? They left the door open. Yeah. Every time I came by here, that dog that we had the free run of the property, so yeah. So I this was the dog's dog. room. Yeah, this is the dog's room. Dog like paint. That's why he's got the paint and all that stuff. 
you know, I guess him and Mike have that in common. They love the pink tile. That's <laughs> <laughs> just joking, Mike. So if you look, and I'm obviously we're getting surveyed down, but I think it runs literally right where the power pole is and runs straight back. But you can see our uh, our bamboo porch back there takes over. So I've got a feeling that we've got quite a bit more property if we if we open it up. So and I'm I'm definitely taking this uh, power pole out with the extra light in front. That looks terrible. Yeah, that's the other thing you've got going on here is you've got people literally buying homes for several hundred thousand, you know, half a million dollars. I know of four or five homes in this area that have sold 500,000 plus that were tear down homes. They scraped the lots and they're building mansions. There's a lot of that going on in this neighborhood. I think it's only just going to continue to bring the floor up for that minimum entry point. So we'll see. Only up from here, right? Yeah, there's another, there's a, a vacant lot, maybe four doors down, five doors down and a little less than an acre, $160,000. Uh, there's half acre lots that are two roads over that are 160, $170,000 for half an acre. So it's it's already happening so i feel like you know i honestly i have to look and see but i feel like this is the lowest sales price point in this area in a long time and it'll probably be the lowest for a long time to come so we'll see we're in it we're in it right anyway that landmark back there you see that beauty that giant tree yeah well the one that one too but the one to the left oh the dead one the dead <laughs> one yeah that's that right there that's like uh true north that's how we know yeah <laughs> That was a humming beacon. That's how I knew it was the right property. You know, they think they fleeced me. They think that they, you know, that they really got one over on me. I don't think that they thought their house would sell for anywhere close to that. And when they figured out the value of the home, you know, I think they were very excited to, to be able to move it. You know, but the difference is, is that understanding the market, understanding the neighborhood, understanding the growth. We've got, we were talking yesterday in the podcast, we were talking about, you know, one of the returns that you experience on a property um, that I believe you have this uh, anti-inflationary aspect to real estate, right? So it's a hedge against inflation. But the other thing is the actual appreciation of the property. So we have a supply and demand situation, right? This area is in heavy, heavy, heavy demand and we have a very limited supply. And, um, you know, I feel like I stole this home. And this is the funny part about this is both can be true. You know, the the to the owner, they came out very, very well. And they were happy to be done with it. Right. I feel like I stole the home and I see the opportunity, but I'm also willing to come in and put the money into it, the time, effort, and energy into it and get the house where it needs to be to be able to get the, the most return on my investment as well. So, you know, I think I won this one, but in this situation, we got a happy former homeowner as well. So that's, that's a win-win for everybody, but I was. <laughs> <laughs> and then the country club, literally, and this is what I was saying, you know, I think we were five turns in or six turns in. You know, driving range, and there's the country club. So it's the country club. So I mean, you're you're literally right over it. So you you know, and there's the other thing too, man. Like when I take a lot of pride in my homes, and just driving through this community, right? It just does something. And I, I don't even live here, but it just I, there's some aspect where it's motivational, right? To see other people, to see people taking care of their homes. Uh, to see people taking pride in what they've got and you know everything's manicured and everything's taken care of and you know this is, it's a beautiful area and then you know every time i've been in this neighborhood i've seen people out walking with their dogs walking in the groups like it's it's a safe area um i don't know it motivates me to be in areas like this i like to see people doing well you know shows me what's possible and i think even when i didn't have anything you know i spent a lot of time walking and driving neighborhoods you know just just for motivation you know, everybody thinks that that life is super difficult to to get ahead in, and walking through neighborhoods like this really show you that it's possible, right? And if other people can do it, you can do it as well. You've just got to figure out how to break through, right? So, yeah, man, love the area. I think it's going to be a win for sure.